This video we're going to talk about how to find the number of molecules of water of crystallization. So um, for this kind of questions, okay, the salts that we have will be hydrated. That means they will contain water. So basically sodium carbonate, okay, if it contains water, we have a plus. Okay, we have a dot in the middle uh, to indicate we have some water of crystallizations, okay, inside this sodium carbonate ionic compound. So this 0 0.186 Okay, this one, okay, do remember it will include mass of water in it, okay? So if you really need to find out the number of mole, so you have to uh, over the molar mass of sodium carbonate plus, okay, uh, the total number of water of crystallization in it, okay? So when we write the equation, actually you can ignore the water of crystallization, that means you don't write this one, okay, then it will be easier for you to write the equation. So the first one, okay, it is a sodium carbonate reacting with sulfuric acid. So sulfuric acid is 2 minus, so we have 2 Na to uh, react with it, so therefore the ratio is 1 to 1, okay, that should be simple. Uh, if you want to write the whole equation, that will be fine, but actually you don't need to. So this one is just for the information. Second part, okay, it will be writing the data. So we know that 0 0.186 gram of sodium carbonate are uh, required. They are they directly required, okay, 15 cm cube of 0 0.1 m of acid to react with it. So therefore this one will be 15 cm cube and then we have 0 0.1 OOM, okay, subreacted to react. So uh, basically you can see that, okay, uh, we can just find this number of mole and then find out this number of mole and then we can get the molar mass easily, okay. So our uh, number of mole of H2SO4 will equal to 0 0.1 times 15 over 1000. So the answer for this part will be 1.5 times 10 to the negative 3 mole. And then uh, by mole ratio, we can find the sodium carbonate one. It will be 1.50 times 10 to negative 3 divided by 1 times 1. Okay, because you have 隨自己成人地. Okay, so this one will be 1.50 times 10 to negative 3 mole. Okay, and then, okay, we just need to find out the uh, water of crystallizations are inside the sodium carbonate. Basically, you have mass over molar mass, mass over molar mass equals to number of mole. Actually, you don't need to write this one, okay, but just want to indicate it uh, for for you guys, okay, to fully understand. So it will be 0 0.186. So I strongly recommend you to express the whole molar equations, okay, uh, molar mass equations, okay, like this way. So you can see 18 will be the water, okay, so you see uh, uh, how you're going to do the math in the process. If you accidentally you get wrong for one part, okay, actually it's easier for you to identify that, okay? So basically, if you solve these questions, okay, you'll find that n will equals to 1, okay? So the number of mole of crystallizations will be 1, okay, in this compound, okay? Just give you one more example. So right here, we have H2A and then NH2O, and this one was made up 250 and then 25 of it, oh, this one is a little bit more difficult, okay, than the one before. So this one is 1.26, okay, we'll first prepare 250 and then we'll get 25 out of it, okay, and they're going to react with potassium hydroxide, which is KOH. So this one is dibasic, so therefore we know that the ratio will be 1 to 2. And then, okay, to titrate against the H2A, we have the L shape like this way. Okay, we know that our potassium hydroxide is 0 0.1 M and then we have 0 0.02 dm cube. Okay, 0 0.02 and 0 0.1 M. So we just basically find out uh, the N, okay, in this values. So first of all, oh, this is number two. Okay, then we're going to find number of mole of KOH that we have used will be 0 0.1 times 0 0.02. Okay, that will be 2 times 10 to negative 3 mole. And then for number of mole of H2A, that will be zero, 2 times 10 to negative 3 divided by 2 times 1. Okay, so this one will be 1 times 10 to negative 3 mole. And then uh, for part 4, okay, uh, 4 already. 
okay and then we're going to find this one i have to be in 25 cm cube okay i forgot to write so this one will be two and uh, h2a in 250 cm cube so for this one okay will be one times 10 to negative three divided by 25 okay so original is 25 now become 250 so time 250 portion for that okay then this one will be 0 0.01 mole and finally uh, you are going to find out the end right there. So again, the mass 1.26 over, we say that H2A is 90. So 90 plus 18N equals to 0 0.01. Okay, so if you solve for N, okay, then you can find that it will equals to 2 right there. Okay, so the number of uh, water crystallization in it will be 2. Okay, so um, summary, okay, basically you have to write in the equations, but in the equation you can see that most of the time I just ignore the water of crystallization it will be easier for us to write. And remember for the L shapes, okay, the L shape when you have the mass, okay, the mass given to you all the time will include the water of crystallization, bear in mind, okay. And then we find a number of more of A, number of more of B in 25, 250 cm cube, remember, okay, normally we will divide it by 25 times 250. And finally we find a number of more water of crystallization, okay. So that's all for this video. Bye-bye.